Hey everybody, so I hope you're having a wonderful day today. Um, so, I've got some empties. If you've never seen an empties video before, it's just where I save all of my um, empty products. I mix in a lot of things in here, but I tell you what I thought about them if I would repurchase them. Um, it's just like little mini reviews. So, let's just get started. <laughs> First thing that I have is a couple of Clean Cauldron Body Butter samples. They're, um, I have the ones in, this is in Blood Orange, and the one in Pink Grapefruit. These are both phenomenal. Um, the Pink Grapefruit is a touch stronger. Neither one of them are strong. They're the same wonderful formula. You can't go wrong with her formula. It's a very decadent kind of formula. You do have to allow it some time to soak in. This is not something that I would be able to take a shower and throw on clothes and run out the door. But like the Blood Orange... Um, I always feel like I smell like a dream sickle when I wear blood orange, at least in this scent. But um, these are amazing. I think these are like two bucks, two fifty, to try out a scent to see what you think about it. So every time I see new scents, I purchase another, another sample. So, um, but yeah, these are both amazing, and if you want to look into them, she has an Etsy shop, and it's under Clean Cauldron. So definitely check out Viv. I have not tried anything from her that I haven't liked. And in most cases, I absolutely loved. And I apologize. That was my phone. I also went through a pst, instant dry shampoo. This has never been my favorite. This was the first dry shampoo that I've ever used. And I found out that Freeman, which is the company that makes this, is on Logical Harmony's bad list. So that means, according to her research, she does not consider them to be cruelty-free. So I use her blog as a guide. And now if I have talked to a company and I feel that they've answered my questions correctly and they are not on the bad list then I go ahead and I use them and purchase them. But whenever they're on Tashina's bad list, I tend to defer to her. I won't be buying this again. Not that it's that big of a deal because I didn't really love it in the first place. The one that I'm trying now is uh, Giovanni, I think, but it's not in a spray bottle. It's in like a now I'm not sitting on my knees, so I'm a little shorter. And you can see in my closet. But yeah, this is what I have. This is the Powder, Pow Powder Power Dry Shampoo. Um, two in one. Power Shampoo and Instant Volumizer. Um, I haven't actually started using it, but this is what I got to replace. The thing I have is a little sample of Mary Kay Time Wise Firming Eye Cream. I've said this on my channel before. My mom sells Mary Kay, and every now and then, um, she'll I'll be over at her house, and she'll be like, here, honey, take this. So... Um, this used to be my favorite eye cream before going cruelty-free. Um, it was amazing, um, but Mary Kay's not cruelty-free, so I wouldn't buy it. Candle. This is Mainstays Apples and Berries. Um, I love the way that they burn down. It has a really good scent throw. I have no clue what this is. I got this for Christmas. So I have no clue if it's soy. I, I have no clue what it is. But... From a candle perspective, this is a great brand, and it's available at Walmart. I mean, look, it even burns evenly. The only complaint is I didn't really like the scent that much. Weird. So I wouldn't repurchase that particular candle, but I might check out other candles. I finished up another box of the Bloom Naturals Pro Age. I'm really digging these. I still have another box or two, but... Uh, Yes, I would definitely repurchase this. It is certified organic, and, or made with natural and certified organic ingredients, and it's anti -aging. absolutely repurchase these. I finally finished the Laura Mercier Primer Foundation Primer Radiance, the little sample that I had that was in my finish 7 by Spring or 5 by Cinco de Mayo. I can't remember, because I completely just dropped the ball on 5 by Cinco de Mayo. Um... I think this was in 7 by Spring, and it's not cruelty-free. I didn't, it wasn't really great for me. I mixed it with things to make the highlighty-ness 
but as a primer, I, I, after a while, I didn't really like it. In the beginning, I said it did the job, but the more you use it, the more you learn, right? So, that's gone. Um, I finished up an organic wear, um, I think it's the Lash Boosting in Ultra Black. It was nice, but like every other natural mascara, it smudged all over, but it was nice. And the brush looks like that. Can you see that? I probably wouldn't repurchase that. I don't know. I might. Um, I finished up the Hard Candy CC Cream. This was actually really good. I mixed it. I usually mix it with a liquid illuminator. I mixed it with the Laura Mercier Radiance Primer. Um, but it gives decent. It gives really decent coverage. In fact, I would call it really good coverage. Let's say it that way. Um, light is the color that I have, and that was a really great match for me. And um, I think that it performs as well or better for me than the It Cosmetics CC Cream. So yes, I would contemplate repurchasing this. Um, I finished this this morning. This is the Desert Essence Coconut Body Wash, and I get these on Vitacost. Um, yes, it, it, I don't really expect a ton out of my shower gels. They need to lather, they need to not dry me out, and they need to not cost an arm and a leg. Um, so yes, I would repurchase. I'm probably um, going to check out other scents that they have. My favorite scent so far from Desert Essence is Tropical Coconut, but I don't see a body wash for that on the Vitacost website. So might check the Desert Essence website. But um, yes, I very much enjoy it. I'm not going to buy it like now because I have some deep steep shower gels and a white rain one to go through. So, but in the future, yes. I finished my favorite spring body spray. This is Layers by Scentsy and Sugar. Do you remember Cotton Candy Body Fantasy? This smells like that, except for a grown up version. I love it. You can only get it through a Scentsy consultant though. So, um, yeah, so. I would repurchase it. I am just uh, not going to repurchase it this second because I don't need to make a Scentsy order. A couple things that are in the cleaning world. I have some Method products I used up. I don't know if you care. I'm not sure if I showed this last time. I probably did. I don't remember. But I used up the Method anti back Toilet. So that's the toilet cleaner. Um, this is the bathroom cleaner. And I finished up the Method Dish Soap in Fresh Current. I love the Cucumber All-Purpose um, scent, um, so I use that to clean my entire house. So I would probably not repurchase this, unless, of course, I just got a random move, because Method products are amazing. But in general, the Cucumber does exactly what I need it to do. I'm going to see how it does on my tub, so if that happens, then I might repurchase this to clean my tub. This is my very favorite um, brand of dish soap. Um, my favorite scent is Clementine, although I have the Power Foam or something now in Pink Grapefruit, and I like that scent too, but Clementine has been my favorite. Um, so I repurchase this all the time in different scents, and I've already repurchased this because you got to clean your... Finished up a Clean Cauldron Whipped Body Butter in Coconut. Um, this one, I think I might have... Yeah, because all I smell is shea butter. I, I'm, I might have gotten one that, that had the no scent. I'm not sure. But it was still amazing. And I contacted Viv. And I didn't even ask for a replacement. And she sent me a replacement. Not a sample. She sent me a full, well, full size to me is 2.5 ounces. I was just floored. I love Viv, which I loved Viv before she had a company. Definitely check out Clean Cauldron. Things in here that I'm not sure if I showed them already. If I've already shown them in a previous empties, I'm sorry, but I can't remember. So I have another of the, pst, we've already discussed that. I have a food thing. I finished up a foamy bologna coconut bacon and chipotle bar barbecue, which is a vegan, like uh, bacon chips kind of thing. Like it's in big chunks and I squish them all up and put them in my salad or on top of things. These are amazing. I would definitely repurchase and I want to try others. Um, I finished the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Ultra Light. Um, I enjoyed this just fine. I would contemplate repurchasing it if I didn't love my new primer so much, which I repurchased a new. Um, this is the Sheer Envy Ultra Light, which I think is supposed to be a dupe for a Smashbox light or photo finish light. 
but I have the Sheer Envy 12 hour long wearing something and I really dig it so no I would not repurchase this but I would recommend if you're looking for a dupe for the Smashbox Photo Finish Light to check that out. I have a couple things Let's see here. Some of these may have been mentioned in my um, Seven My Spring or whatever, so again, I apologize. Um, this is the All Natural Face V Lip Gloss and Frosted Peach. This is not empty. I am just, I hate it. Um, I feel like it disintegrates any lip product that I put on it. If you put it on a lump, put under it, if you put it on alone, it's so slick that it just, it's gone. It just, it's, it's very hydrating and it feels very nice, but no, this is not what I like for lip gloss. I like them to be a touch sticky, not sticky in a bad way, just so that it sticks to your lips. Um, this is a Little Bitty Nails Incorporated in Porchester Square. It's about halfway empty, but it's so glippy I can't use it. So, But I want to repurchase this color. Nails Incorporated is my favorite high-end nail polishes, so um, I will probably repurchase this in their new gel formula. Um, another Clean Cauldron uh, Whipped Body Butter in Wizard. Um, it's alright. It is more of a masculine formula because I love Clean Cauldron Body Butter. And uh, this is the Peppermint Clean Cauldron Lip Balm. I love these. The Elf 3-in-1 Mascara. I hate this stuff. It flaked off. It was terrible. It's not worth $3. Just saying. Um, and then I finished up the, um, this came in the Ariel box, you know, the eyeshadow box last year. I got it for Chris, for a birthday present. And it's just in pink, and it's just sheer, and it tastes like coconuts or smells like coconuts. And it was fine, but I don't like pink, so it's done. And I finished up Plantini from Bare Minerals. Was my favorite pre-cruelty free. I don't buy it now. You couldn't anyways. It's in a set that... They never released it by itself. So that was gone. And then I finished up the Mini Sugar Honey. Those aren't cruelty free either. And they're not as hydrating as I once thought because I've discovered new things. I finished a Bath & Body Works pocket back in Cranberry Trinkle. Um, I got this a couple Christmases ago. And I wouldn't buy it back because Bath & Body Works is not cruelty free. And then um, Mary Kay Foundation Primer. It's okay. It's a primer. I like the hard candy better, and this isn't cruelty free. And that, my friends, is all of my empties. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. Have a great day. I'll see you on the next one.